Sorry about that. And basically, um, someone's brought to my attention that there isn't a guide for this resource um, in particular. Uh, someone brought up the fact that there is actually another tool. Now, I'm not 100% uh, familiar with it, but I know how to operate it enough to teach you guys how to do it. Now, this is really more for people who are going to be playing big giant heavy armies like these big mob armies that have 200 plus models and so i'm going to teach you guys how you can add those to a game save them in a file and then import them into the ftc map template template map or all right now I've already done some prep work here. I've got a imaginary, uh, a, a bit, it's not imaginary, it's just an example list here of the uh, circumstances that you might need to learn how to do this. This is about 3,281 points of orcs. Okay, that's a lot of orcs. We have uh, a crap ton. About 240 models of just Gretchen and uh, boys. And this is a brigade detachment. All right. And so, of course, this video is going to be uh, assuming that you know how to use roster editor and Battlescribe to TTS. But we'll do a brief kind of run through of that really quick. Uh, just so that you guys uh, will see that in action here. Um, so anyway... I've got the list and I've saved it. And now I'm gonna go to Battlescribe to TTS, okay? I'm gonna upload the roster that we made, which would be orc example list. I've saved that to my hard drive and loaded it into this website. And so now I am going to actually go, now I'm not gonna go into Battlescribe to TTS just yet. What I'm actually gonna go to do, uh, going where I'm going is the FTC 40k army and so I'm gonna come here I'll show you guys a link to it and in the YouTube video you guys will actually be able to see this as well because I will post a link there this is maintained by Gen Williams uh, uh, Fubar and I believe Mothman Zach they maintain this um, this is the FTC uh, 40k army creator or importer anyway once you get this you're going to load up the uh, army importer. Now I'm gonna, I've already set aside the models I'm gonna be using to import. This is the Battlescribe to TTS stuff that I will show you guys how to do here in just a moment. But I've already set aside the models. You will have to set aside your models to uh, import them and I will show you that here in just a second. Um, this is also models pulled from Battleforge. So this is also assuming you know where Battleforge is. I'll link all this stuff, all right? I'm gonna link it all. All of it is gonna be in the description of the video. So anyway, we're gonna copy this, okay? And now we're gonna go over to FTC uh, Army Importer, okay? And we're gonna load it up just like so. All right. So now this is your room. This is what your room should look like. You should have this. I will go into details on what all this is here, but don't worry too much about that. What we're now gonna do is we're going to import we're going to import our battlescribe to tts um army okay now this normally would be impossible because you have a maximum selection of about 126 models like if you were if you guys remember i showed you guys how to import from battlescribe to tts and you made kind of like a little highlight over all the models right and then you just kind of save that to your objects. Well, that doesn't work for these really high model count armies, okay? You're only going to have a maximum size uh, that you can highlight of about 126 models. So anything with too many uh, model counts, you're going to have a problem. This is a way to work around it. All right. So now the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to grab our Battle Scribe to yes tool. Okay. And so if you you'll have a link to this in the description when you guys load this up you'll see it into your workshop um, right like so and what you're going to do is you're going to additive load 
the models and tools here. All right, and so here we are. We have the Battlescribe to TTS control panel. We have the Battlescribe uh, army creator, okay? That's what we're looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste the models that I've previously set aside for this next step here. I've set them aside. And next, I'm going to go back to Battlescribe to TTS to grab my roster code. Once again, if you guys don't know what this is, I have made in-depth videos on to use all these tools and you'll have links to that as well. Um, all right, so now we're going to paste the code in, submit the code, and now it is going to pull up the panels here for us. All right, and so now, what we need to do is we're going to need to assign every model that it's asking for us here. So let's, for example, it's it's got a panel here for gas cool, right? So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And then I'm going to pick this model up. That's our gas cool model. And now that model is assigned. I can put that up here and not have to worry about it. Okay, now I'm going to continue doing this. We have a truck. Actually, we'll go we'll, we'll go in order, right? So weird boy, okay? Where's my weird boy model? My weird boy model is going to be here. All right, I set this aside. Next, I need an orc boy model. Easy. That's a knob. That's a slugger. That's a that's another knob. That that this is orc boy. Here we go. Now that's been assigned. Next up, we're going to need a regular knob. All right. And so I'm going to choose this as my regular knob model. And I'm going to set this aside. Next, I got to pick my boss knob model. I will choose this one. That has been assigned. Next up, I need a flash git. Where is my flash git? Here he is. I'm gonna pick this up. Now he's assigned. And now I need a flash git captain. Here we go. That's probably not the right base size there. But uh, you know, this is bear with me. Here's the, the truck. I'm going to go ahead and click, pick this up. He's been assigned. Next up is a mega knob. Mega knobs. We've got a big mech mega knob thing. Here's a mega knob boss mega knob. Wait, yeah, this one, and then the regular mega knob. Okay, next up, storm boy. And you know, I'm just going through this here because if you need to do this, you need to understand that you have to load this up in this template first. Okay, so we're just going through that right now. Uh, we need a war biker. We're going to pick this up. It's going to be fantastic. I, I'll prom I promise you. Big Mac with a custom four field, force field. Where's my Big Mac? Here he is. All right. And last but not least, my Gretchen. All right. So that has all been assigned. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Go and move this up here. And I'm going to go ahead and create army. This is going to take a little bit of time. All right. It's going to go through. It's going to do its magic. Go on the server side or whatever. And in just a moment, we will have everything that we saw on everything that we've put in the list here is going to be there. All right. So here we go still loading this is the probably the biggest set of stuff that I've ever done before like this is hands down the most models I've ever imported with Battlescribe to TTS okay we're getting there we're getting there Okay, 
All right, so as you can see, clearly, this is more than our 140-something model uh, count. I think we have a little bit of... Hmm, it looks like we had some boys fall through here. All right, now if you did this correctly, you'll notice that if you highlight over them, they have all their codex stats, they have their weapon loadouts, they have their special rules. You'll be able to hit numpad one, and then you'll be able to take a look at every, all the special rules, all the profiles, all the goodness of that unit, and it will be applied to everything, even your Gretchens, which uh, these boys uh, have a very weird size here. Probably would have been better to get a better Gretchen model, but hey, this is just for an example. All right. So, you know, if I try to drag a, a selection over all these, I won't be able to get all of it. Okay. And sure, you can put this in a bag. Please don't. Okay. You just, just don't do that. Um, what you do instead, okay, is you just simply come in and you find some spots for your units here. We're just going to line them up like so. And now I am not, I'm not worried too much about um, the squad colors and stuff like that. Don't, don't be worried about that for now. Just focus on getting all the, the squads. Oops. Uh, three, three. Okay. So yeah, just focus on, you know, getting all your squads uh, separated but mounted here, right? So just give me a moment and bear with me once again. You can see that all the uh, squads have the models that I've assigned. Got my flash gets here. Jesus. So, you know, it, it, when you guys are doing this, it should be uh, a lot faster with this. I'm, I'm kind of slow. I do apologize. But here we go. Got some storm boys. We've got the trucks. You know, just put them on this board right here. It's important that you do so. All right. All right. And so you could you could actually go a step further and organize all of the uh, things. Uh, just be safe and delete all this here because you will not be needing this any longer. All right. Not need that either. Now, let's just say that I'm happy with, you know, how this looks. You know, I've set aside everything. I know how it's going to come out when I import it. All right. Now we can get to our next step here. And that is exporting. All right. Now, you know, make sure to not put any models right there. As it's saying very clearly, don't place, don't put any models here. Miniatures are down here in the detachment. All right. So anyway, I'm going to hit export, uh, export. We'll hit yes. And now we are ready to make a save for this. Okay. We can go to games. We can go to our save loads. And I don't know, maybe you create a folder where it's like, you know, thing. I'm going to come in. I'll make a test save here. This is the uh, orc test example. Okay. I'm going to save it. All right. Now, for the next step, we need to go over to the FTC template. So we'll go over to, where is the, the for you guys, it'll be in here, FTC 40K 99E base map, all right? Now, you load this up, and this is gonna be what you guys have on your side. All right, 
Now, it's very important that you pick a color here, right? When you first load up the FTC map, this is nothing new. This, this is something that you guys should already know. And if you don't, just take a, just open it for yourself and just take a quick look at it. It's very self-explanatory. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit red. All right, let's just ignore all this, disregard all this for now. Um, now, I want to import my map. Let's say my, appoint, my opponent is seated, and it's time to bring the orcs. We got the boys. It's a lot of boys, but I can't just load it in conventionally. I need to load it in with this. All right. Now find your 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 save that we just created. Come to the triple dot icon here and then hit additive load. Hit load. All right. And then here it is. Once again, the full glorious orc boy list that's like almost 4,000 points or maybe less a little bit less and now it's asking us where do we want to place it do we want to place it for red or we want to place it for blue what what side are you on i'm going to place it for red because i'm red i'm red side and then bam you just saved yourself a headache you just did something that you can't really do you're not messing with around with a bag it's neat, it's very concise, it'll deal with any amount of models, and you are ready to go. You are ready to play. Now, of course, just to kind of wrap this up here, before um, you saw how we kind of loaded everything in, let's see if we go back here. All right, so remember how we were here, right? This is before we do an export, right? So before you do your exports, like if you want to edit this list or you want to change a list, I highly recommend that you make a save of this, uh, this room before you hit that export button. So that way you can actually continue to do all the changes that you need and you know maybe you don't like something or maybe you add on to this list right well you want to come back to this this state of the uh 40k template i'm sorry it's not the 40k template it's the army importer right and so you know let's say let's say you make a big change and you know you're, you're bringing more orc boys right just save it right here so that you have an easy to access backup right and so that's how you have to do All right, and I hope that uh, I hope that teaches you guys a little something that I'm not 100% familiar with it, but it's very self-explanatory and very uh, very easy to work with, in my opinion. And I want to thank Gen Williams and Fubar, um, Mothman Zach, and I would like to also thank Bacon Catbug, who actually made the predecessor of this mod. So those guys did some really good work. Yes, this is for pre uh, predominantly large armies. Yes, this is for like if you have 200 plus models and you want to import them into the game without having to stuff things in bags. Okay, very useful. Whew. It's hot. BCB shout out. Well, it's not. Look, dude. Let's not get too much into that, okay? Let's not let's not get too much into that. Let's just give people the credits that they're due. People worked on this. People did a lot of work, you know. Especially especially Fubar and Gen Williams, who are continuing to maintain it. This is an excellent resource and excellent tool for the community at large to use. So, I thank all the people that were involved in in creating this tool for us today. And I bet you guys, some of you guys didn't know that this existed. I know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, 